Hey Savvy people, it's Savvy Nick here, and today we'll be talking about LVM versus standard partitioning schemes and how they differ and which is better to use. Thanks to everyone who's been subscribing to the channel lately. It really means a lot to me. So LVM stands for Logical Volume Manager. And LVM gives you more flexibility than a standard partition setup because it allows you to make changes to the file system storage without having to unmount the storage device. The LVM is set up so it uses the device mapper in order to track the locations that you tell the system are available for storage. What I got here in front of me is two Ubuntu 19.10 installs, one with the standard partitioning scheme and the other with the LVM partitioning scheme. The one in front of me here is the standard, so let's go ahead and take a look at what the standard partitioning scheme looks like. So we'll go ahead and boot up a disk utility here. So if we use disks, we can see what that kind of looks like. So as you can tell, we have one disk, which is the SDA disk. And in that disk, there is a device called SDA1 with 36 gigabytes of available storage. So I'll go ahead and scroll over to my LVM install over here and we'll do the same thing so we can look and compare and contrast these two. So if I open up the disk utility here, we'll see that there's a little bit of a different scheme going on here. On the left side, you can see that we have the entire disk, which is also SDA here, but we see a couple things underneath, which uh, one gigabyte is devoted to swap, and then 33 gigabytes is devoted to storage space. If you'd made it this far, go ahead and take a moment and hit the like button. It really does help me out. You can see that these storage spaces are formatted as EXT format and the swap is the Linux swap format. Where again, if we go back to the standard, you only have the one disk here. So in the standard way, the system only knows of the static available storage and it cannot change while the system is running. It's up to the user to go and remap what the storage looks like or repartition portions of the storage space in order to utilize more available space. Whereas if we look here at the LVM, it allows you to simply run through some commands and create or add on to the storage because it has a notion of such things as volumes. So now instead of just creating a single storage disk, you actually create multiple volumes. And then the device mapper allows you to create multiple volumes, really as many as you want, and in different storage spaces. It doesn't even have to be on the same hard disk. You could technically have multiple hard disks and have volumes existing throughout multiple hard disks. And that's why the LVM is so powerful because of this device mapper method, which allows you to really customize the storage however you want while it's even live. So where is this beneficial? Well, you could probably think of many places where it's beneficial, but imagine having a virtual machine or even a virtual server with a Linux distribution. You don't necessarily know how much space you'll need in the future, so you go ahead and pick how much storage space you want to have. Well, after a while in the standard, you might use up all that storage space, which normally in a virtual machine, it's very easy to go ahead and add more storage space. But what doesn't happen is Linux won't just pick up on that space automatically, even though you opened it up. So instead, it will be up to you to let Linux know that there's more available space. And to do so on the standard version, you would actually have to boot down the system, put in a live disk while the file system's unmounted, and then repartition the standard disk, which is not fun at all. And for people who don't want to get that involved, they would have to actually reinstall the entire base system in order to take advantage of the newly expanded space. But over here with the LVM installed partition, you can do it live, meaning you can simply use a tool like Parted or Gparted, the graphical version, to tell the system that you have more storage space available, either by extending a logical volume that's already here or by creating a new logical volume pool. And again, you can do this all without unmounting anything. 
because of the device mapper. That's what makes LVMs flexible and powerful. It's a great scheme to use if you need that extra flexibility. In another video, I'll show you how easy it is to expand or create a new logical volume across multiple disks or the same disk. And another thing I would like to show is how easy it is to change up the storage space on a virtual machine and then go ahead and expand the current storage device. Where this is also beneficial is, let's say you have a virtual machine that you want to send to somebody. Well, you can make a very small virtual machine, send it over to them so they don't have much to download, and then simply expand the system once it gets there on their physical hardware. So it's really a great scheme to have, and I suggest it for most people. But if you do have a system that's simple and there's really only going to be one storage space that you plan on using, and you figure you're gonna use a full storage space from the beginning, then the standard is fine. But if you have any reason to change up the storage space in the future, then you might wanna look into a LVM partitioning scheme. It could save a lot of time and headaches and most Linux distributions now have the availability to go ahead and install an LVM. The default, of course, for most Linux distributions is the standard because the assumption is that you're installing it on a fixed storage disk, possibly alongside another operating system. And that's one of the downfalls of using this LVM. If you do have another operating system alongside an LVM, it makes the disk space harder to map around because of the other operating system, such as Windows. But in most cases, it is more beneficial to the user than using the standard partitioning scheme. As far as performance goes, there's really no advantage to one or the other that I can think of. And that's really all there is to LVMs versus the standard partitioning schemes. So make sure to look out for LVMs and to go ahead and try them out if you're installing a new Linux system. It's a much more modern way of partitioning and it gives you extreme amount of flexibility. I hope you enjoyed this Linux talk about LVMs versus the standard partitioning scheme. Let me know what you think about it and if you plan on using LVMs in the future. Of course, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please post them in the comment section below. Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos and make sure to like the video. Thanks for watching.